Onward From Here, Episode 5. There are certain things that are iconic in science fiction. Robots are one of the foremost of those things. Don't ask me to list off the others, I just wanted to say foremost and iconic in the same sentence. In any science fiction setting that postulates sentient computers, the existence of robots able to do high-level tasks and even emulate human levels of intelligence would be a given. In The Adventures of the Rosalind Franklin, we have several examples of these types of robots. Arata, our faithful steward with at least 23 different robotic shells, is one of these. Angie, our love bot, is another. Both of these robots profess to be seeking true sentience. But what I want to concentrate on today is Binsford, the erstwhile companion, guy, producer, friend of Atticus Solomon of the grid program Hunting with Atticus. The female main character postulates that Binsford is either a full artificial intelligence or a ghost. Either option, however, would require a quantum computer within the mechanics of the setting. Now, admittedly said mechanics are an artifice constructed by our writer to balance gameplay in the, in the tabletop RPG version of the Twilight Sector. But that's our story and we're sticking to it. So is that a mystery that needs figuring out? After all, we firmly established that the Rosalind Franklin doesn't have a quantum computer. Binsford is a bit of an enigma, obviously a very capable entity. Why does he stick around with Atticus? Well, I guess the salary he could draw from a hit program might be one reason. Computing time ain't cheap, after all. In his conversations with the female main character, he said he owed Atticus a life debt. Well now, this guy absolutely stinks at mysteries. Is Binsford a potential love interest? What? You don't picture bringing home a robot to meet the parents? Well, you can change shells, you know. Endless variety. Honey, I'm tired of the Brad Pitt looking shell. Could you maybe put on the Ryan Reynolds one tonight? Your fantasies would be unlimited. Well, I suggest you download The Adventures of the Rosalind Franklin and check out Binsford. He's an enigma wrapped in a riddle. See, I used enigma twice in this article. My eighth grade English teacher is pulling out her red pen. But I don't care, damn it, I'm my own man. I can use Enigma twice if I want to. Notice how I managed to slip in an extra two Enigmas there? See you next time.